hello hello xin chào các bạn đã đến với vlog đầu tiên của hello hào và hôm nay hào có best friend của hào ở đây à, bạn này tên là nat và nat là một người à, rất là thân với hào và nat đã à, làm bạn với hào cũng khoảng bốn năm năm nay rồi à, hôm nay hào muốn mời nat đến đây cho cái tập đầu tiên á tại vì nat rất là thích đồ ăn việt nam là thứ nhất à, cái thứ hai là nat đã đến việt nam rồi nên sẽ có thể rất là vui khi mà nat có thể chia sẻ về những kinh nghiệm của bạn ấy ở việt nam cũng như là nét đang làm cho cái nhà hàng rất là nổi tiếng mà họ nghĩ là có một vài bạn ở không phải một vài bạn nữa đâu cũng có rất nhiều người mình ở việt nam ở châu á biết về cái nhà hàng này và đó là một cái kinh nghiệm rất là thú vị mà họ muốn chia sẻ bây giờ chúng ta sẽ cùng đi vào cuộc trò chuyện này nhé hi nét can you tell my viewer about yourself mm-hmm. uh, what's your name and where you work okay um, my name is na it's short for nathaniel full name nathaniel lee steiner I live here in Seattle, Washington, and I work for the USA division of Ding Tai Fung, or Din Tai Fung, as a lot of Americans call it. And is it called DTF? DTF? Why? Why do you say that kind of shy? Why? Why are you saying DTF? Be- because like some people don't know there was mm-hmm. thing is like, mm mm mm. Yeah. So some of you hoes probably <laughs> know that DTF is down to fuck in English, but that's kind of not a popular phrase anymore. It was more maybe like 10 years ago. It's kind of old now, but if you're in like a city where Ding Tai Fung is like Seattle, when you say DTF, half the time people know, oh, Ding Tai Fung, soup dumplings, or they think down to fuck. It all depends on your perspective. Cool, I will beat that one. <laughs> anyway, um, so Nat làm ở nhà hàng Ding Tai Fung là một cái nhà hàng dumpling rất là nổi tiếng ở Đài Loan. Nếu như mà các bạn biết á, thì uh, đây sẽ là một cái niềm rất thú vị để mà chia sẻ. Okay, so besides working at Ding Tai Fung, you are a freelance model as well, right? I, I do do some freelance modeling. I um, have done some really creative uh, shoots with a vintage company, working with some really stunning photographers who've done work with some major agencies here in Seattle. People are surprised that Seattle has a pretty big modeling industry. Um, I've also done work for a Korean American owned styling company. So a lot of unique pieces that are very niche, like Korean kind of style, like streetwear, mixed with some European sensibility, done a little bit um, in Singapore as well. So I'm really looking forward to getting my face out there more, seeing what other work lays ahead. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about Ding Tai Fung? So like, mm-hmm what they really selling and why it's so special and why mm-hmm. people love Ding Tai Fung? Uh, so the core of Ding Tai Fung, it's even a hashtag on Instagram now, is hashtag DTF is XLB. Ding Tai Fung is Xiao Wong Bao. Ding Tai Fung is soup dumplings. So the company's known for these very precise 18 fold soup dumplings, thin skin, a little bit of hot, very clean tasting soup. I think Ding Tai Fung appeals to everybody because it's a brand that For some people, it's like a special meal. For some people, it's just you're traveling and it's a reliable flavor. You know what you're gonna get. The service will be great. The food is consistent. And the company makes a shit ton of money. So it's obviously True. working. <laughs> like you go to Ding Tai Fung anywhere in the world. There's expats, there's locals. It's just a place that appeals to so many ranges of taste. And I think that's why people are just very committed to the brand. I've heard that um There's a very specific way to eat Shaolongbao. Mm-hmm. Shaolongbao. Shaolongbao. Close enough. How, how, how do you say that? My, so for the record, I'm not like fluent in Mandarin, but well, that's only high key. Like it's a, it's okay. Um, my, the way you properly say Shaolongbao is like Xiaolongbao, Xiaolongbao, like small steamer bun. But XLB is fine. Soup dumpling is fine, or just like. Xiao Long Bao. Xiao Long Bao. Not xylophone bao. Xiao Long Bao. Okay, so, um, thì Xiao, Xiao Long Bao là cái loại mà soup dumplings có nghĩa là cái loại há cảo mà trong đó khi mà các bạn cắn vô nó sẽ có uh, soup chảy ra thì đó là cái dạng nó chỉ có một cái cục nhỏ xíu này thôi nhưng mà khi mà cắn vô nước soup chảy ra đó là một cái điều rất là đặc biệt ở cái nhà hàng này mà đó là tại sao mà uh, nhiều người rất là biết đến và có một cái cách để mà ăn cái cái súp sao lon bao này mà không có bị phỏng, tại vì khi mà đem ra nó sẽ rất là nóng, thì Hào sẽ hỏi uh, Nat để mà cách mà diễn tả cho các bạn làm sao mà ăn sao lon bao. Tell us mm. the way that we should have sao lon bao without getting burnt. Okay. Tongue. So it's very important to eat sao lon bao when it's actually really hot, because if you let it cool down, the soup flavor is not as strong, the skin might get kind of gummy. So what you need to do is Either maybe try one by itself without sauce or dip it in your sauce first. 
place it in the white soup spoon and break a hole open to drink it out. So that's what Ding Tai Fung says, but do you know what's like the more Chinese way, like the traditional way to eat it? No. Bite, like you just bite it. So you put it on the spoon, you just bite the top of the side like, and then you suck it straight out of the dumpling, like the hot porky soup. And then you eat it with some more sauce or the ginger added on top. And I like kind of like bright zesty flavors, so I get a shit ton of ginger. Ooh, I like yum. a very refreshing bite, spicy bite. Yep, I like that too. And then I've heard that like a secret sauce uh, ratio that maybe not secret, but like not a lot of people know it. And then some people don't really know it. And then they wouldn't do it right. And then mm -hmm. wouldn't bring out the best flavor of mm -hmm. Ding Tai Fung. So would you tell us what the ratio is? The, the ratio, uh, which someone can maybe make for you, is one part soy sauce, jiang you yi and three parts vinegar, tzu san. So it's just a little bit of soy sauce, more of the vinegar, um, because you want to have a really nice like sour tart flavor to balance the richness of the pork. But a little bit of soy sauce just because um, you want to add a little more depth of salt. The flavor of the dumpling itself is very light. So it's just the best to bring out all the flavor. You can also do chili oil, chili paste if you'd like, um, which is great if you love spicy, but it might overpower maybe the first dumpling if you're trying it. So what's the go-to dishes you would recommend to the first timer mm -hmm. who first time come to Ding Tai Fung? Um, so definitely it's, it's Xiaolongbao, it's soup dumpling, so with the original yep. pork. I'm a very seafood person. I love my crab and pork Xiaolongbao. Um, even our shrimp and pork pot stickers are really nice. Um, some people love the shrimp and pork Xiao Mai. It's good, um, but it does have kind of a heavier feeling to it, so it's not one I would eat all the time. But some of the like noodle dishes, braised beef noodle soup, and the rou mian, that is classic, classic very Taiwanese. It's, it's like the national dish of Taiwan. Um, noodle with sesame sauce, kind of like the dandan dan noodle you might know. Um, so very peanutty. But personally, like what I eat more than anything, anything else is the fried rice. It's very light, like short grain rice. There's like a peppery pork chop or a shrimp version. I can eat fried rice every single day. Like fried rice is the first thing I could make, but it's so convenient for me to eat at work. But you know, you can also add the spicy sauce sometimes. What's, isn't that your favorite? Ooh, yeah, the, the spicy sauce with uh, wonton. Shrimp wonton and pork spice. wontons with spicy yep. sauce. Yep. So a lot of these dishes you'll get at Ding Tai Fung all over the world. The name might look a little bit different, but like the core of the menu will be the same. So I'm sure some of y'all have had all of those things. Yeah, for sure. So chắc chắn là các bạn đã nếu mà các bạn có travel như là Thái Lan, Singapore. Yeah. Yeah, but Singapore. So Thailand, Singapore, Malaysia. All over. Oh, oh, so it's Asia. Thì chắc chắn các bạn sẽ gặp cái Ding Tai Fung nhưng mà cái cái nơi mà bắt nguồn là Đài Loan thì hàng nghĩ là Xiao Long Bao will be the one. Mm -hmm. um, pork chop fried rice, mm -hmm. uh, wonton spicy sauce, mm -hmm. uh, some greens. In oh, the US, uh, they like the, string bean. Yeah, and, and uh, the stir fry noodles. You like that one. It's not so much my favorite. I'm very, uh, I'm very ricey, ricey. And but, the pork, but, but chop, like chop, pork chop fried rice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yum. Ooh, I just had lunch and now I'm hungry again. I eat this stuff all the time, so it's, it's tasty, but like I don't. <laughs> It, it's like my everyday food, which some people are envious of, but also like my waistline though. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Vietnamese food? Vietnamese food is great. I, I absolutely love Vietnamese food. It has a lightness to it, like a sense of balance. I love that I can just put like a heaping mound of herbs on top of so many dishes. Very fresh. Very good. Nok cham, I like. Nok cham. I, I like my fish sauce. Nok cham, you like your fish sauce. What about Vietnamese boy? You go from fish sauce to Vietnamese boys. <laughs> Is that like a natural transition? That's, that's very are they, close are they to both, each other. Are they both salty? Yeah, some of them are. Oh, I know some of them are. <laughs> um, I've had I've had a little a little bit of experience with Vietnamese men. I say Vietnamese men because I know um, there are many gorgeous Vietnamese people. I think Vietnamese are some of the most beautiful people in Asia. Um, the facial structures, the like range of like the history, so like the genetics of Vietnamese people. Um, there are a lot of pretty Vietnamese boys, but if any of you are watching, I like to be the pretty one in the relationship. <laughs> oh, I see. So um, I don't want you to be prettier than me. I want you to be a handsome man, if you know what I'm saying. Mm. So uh, hit so me you, up. So, so you are you are Gao Yui? Gao Yui? Gao Yui? What is Gao Yui? So, so I'm teaching you a new Vietnamese language. Gao Yui? Gao Yui. It's when you, when you want to become a prettiest sure, one yeah. in the relationship. 
Gao Gao Yui. Yeah, like he was no, no. Gao. Gao Yui. Yui. Gao Yui. Gao Yui. Yeah. So you've been to Vietnam with me last time. Yes. Um, what do you think about it? What What did you like about Ho Chi Minh City? Mm. I like that um, Saigon is just constantly moving. Like people are hustling. I mean, you can say that about any big city, but in Vietnam, I think people are very resourceful. So there's just a lot of like very frenetic, kind of like chaotic energy. Um, what I particularly liked was like waking up early in the morning, feeling a little jet lagged. And in like the District 1 of Saigon, you can watch businesses open up. You can see like a noodle soup shop slowly open up, people grilling meat on the street, getting things prepared. And you just see a city that is so energetic waking up and I think that's a really cool thing to witness yeah and I think the the most the best part that um, you can smell the coffee mm -hmm. roasted in the morning cafe uh, soir yeah the cafe soda cafe soda yes Good. you just had it at lunch I did yeah <laughs> um, and I think that that, that part of Vietnam is mm -hmm. just really cool and um, I told my friend who visiting Vietnam last time that just get up early, walk around town. Mm -hmm. You will see like ban mi shop mm -hmm. on the street, not shop, ban mi uh, like a like a cart on the mm -hmm. street, and then they have like coffee. Mm -hmm. It's just very Vietnam. But it's changed so much because I was there over Christmas in 2010, and I'm looking now to when I was there last year, 2019, basically 2020, like. There's so many more American chains. I feel like in some ways, as Vietnam's developing, I'm seeing it become a little more like Bangkok. Like not quite, but the international brands and seeing people being more plugged into like international fashion. It's very interesting to see a country as a whole changing so quickly. True, and then there's a lot of um, restaurants, like mm -hmm. dining experience opening, and it just keep improving, getting better and better. Do you celebrate Lunar New Year? I, I do, I do. Um, Lunar New Year is something my family's done every year. Even if we're not necessarily all together, we always make a point to do something. I always get my red envelope. In Mandarin, they call it a hong bao, but my family calls it ang bao. Hong bao. Hong bao. Hong bao. It's, but it's like ang pao. Ang pao is Hokkien dialect for the red envelope. So we get money every year. My parents, and even my dad, who's like a white American guy, like, I would have to kowtow to them, kowtow, like, get on my knees and, like, reach out and accept <laughs> it and do, like, gongshi, 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 you know? Gongshi, fakshi. No, gongshi. no. Gongshi. <laughs> gongshi, bok choy. Gongshi, not gongshi, bok choy. It's gongshi, bok choy. No. Gongshi, fa chai. Gongshi, fa chai. Gong, gongshi, fa chai. Gongshi, fa chai. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna teach you a Vietnamese, um, uh, uh, a phrase? Yeah. Yeah. To, to wish people luck. Mm -hmm. in Vietnam because it's in a student mm -hmm. holiday. Chúc mừng năm mới. I already know this one, but Chúc mừng năm mới. Chúc mừng năm mới, that's the um, first thing I learned in Vietnamese. Okay. Vàng sự như ý. Vàng sự như ý. Anh khen thịnh vượng. Khen thịnh vượng. Anh An khen thịnh 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 vượng. Vượng. Okay, say it again. And Kang Ting Vu. Perfect. Well, thanks, Nat, uh, for your time, and glad that we could talk about a little bit about Ding Tai Fung experience to mm -hmm. share with everyone. Uh, talk about a little bit about Vietnamese uh, food and, and culture, mm -hmm. and I'm so glad at how much you like and enjoy it, mm -hmm. especially with the boys as well. Of course. Um, <laughs> Cảm ơn. And Gom uh, Sao M, all you uh, pretty M out there, I'm sure you'll find. Your daddy one day. <laughs> out there. And chúc mừng năm mới. Chúc mừng năm mới as well. Enjoy all the Lunar New Year foods. Um, bún bò chè. Is that Viet? Is that Lunar New Year? Bún bò huế. Bún bò huế. Bún bò huế. Bún bò chè. Bún bò chè. Bún bò chè. Com 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 tấm. Com tấm. Com tấm. Perfect. Com tấm. Awesome. <laughs> Ok, xin chào và hẹn gặp lại tất các bạn ở tập tiếp theo của Hello How uh, Xin cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi Nếu mà các yêu thích kênh youtube này nếu đừng có quên là subscribe, nhấn nút like Hoặc là các bạn có thể để những chia sẻ của mình uh, Về những ý kiến mà các bạn muốn chia sẻ với Hào nhé Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại Bye